Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and today we're checking out some Gavco knives. First, we're going to check out the Thresher, and then we'll get to this one. But Caviso, formerly known as Drop, is doing a huge knife sale on the Gavco knives. I'm going to have my affiliate code down in the description for you guys to save, I believe, 25% off. But everything will be linked down in the description for you guys. Let's check out this Gavco Thresher. We have multiple different options here, and they all feel identical, which I love that because a lot of times you'll get two of the same knife and they will feel very, very different. So it really speaks to the quality control getting all these in hand. The action is amazing on every single one of them. The, the thumb studs have traction around the edge all the way around. So you have some grip when you deploy it. They look slick, but they're actually, they actually have some traction around the edges. Now, the, the blade steel is S35VN, and the handle is all titanium with titanium backspa full backspacer and clip. Now, Gavco gets his design influence from sharks. So that's where the name comes from and the design influence on the whole knife. And when you know that, you know, it really makes sense. The handle here, you can kind of see, it kind of has like a wave to it. And there's like contouring, you know, all over. It, it, it's very comfortable in the hand though. You know, looking at it, you wouldn't think so, but putting it in the hand, you know, it doesn't feel uncomfortable at all. It's nice and comfortable. I do have a lot of leverage. I have not put it in and out of the pocket yet, but the clip... Oh, no, I did. I did put uh, the other one in the pocket, um, but the nurse uh, that we're going to get to here in a second. But, um, yeah, the clip seemed like it worked pretty good. I haven't, like, carried it, carried it, but, you know, from the little bit I did put it in and out of the pocket, it seemed like it worked fine. The slow roll is really nice. Or you can just thumb flick it. And also the reverse flick and the placement of the thumb stud is perfect. It lands exactly where I want it to. We do have a steel lock bar insert and over travel stop so you don't unspring the lock. Ceramic caged bearings. The detent is nice and early when I unlock it. So it's easy to get past. And very, very smooth. Now, going back to that really quick. The flipper tab, or sorry, it looks like there's a flipper tab when I unlock it. You see that? How it kind of looks like there's a flipper tab, but that is just for the, to stop at the stop pin. Incredibly smooth, fall shut action. These have not been oiled. They are fresh out of the box, so they're not broken in or anything like that. Lots of different options here, which I do like to see, you know, because, you know, the, the, all of them pop. You know, it's kind of hard to pick which one you like the best. Backspacer really matches the design of the handle. This one has a coated stonewashed blade. I think the other one is all stonewashed too. Yeah, the entire thing is like a is a blacked out stonewashed version. The only thing is we don't have the the blurple or blue anno. More of a bluish. It's a blurple. But if we pick up the blue and the purple, you'll notice both of them. This one's the blue, this one's the purple, but this one has hints of purple in it kind of and this one has hints of blue kind of you know which i think is pretty cool s35 vn good steel good quality steel it is uh still a premium steel and in a time when we have so many and insanely good steels out there s35 will always still be a good quality steel it's a tough steel 
holds a really good edge, takes a really good edge. It's relatively easy to sharpen, and that is kind of the beauty of S30V, is that it's easy to maintain and sharpen, whether you're in the field or at home. You really don't, you don't need, um, I mean, I recommend using diamond stones almost always, unless if you're dealing with a very simple steel, but you can easily get this sharpened in the field, even if you only have aluminum oxide. The detents are great. Has a nice sound to it. A lot of people tend to modify these. I've noticed, um, you know, when they first dropped or, you know, just throughout time, people, a lot of people put holes in them. So, because it has a lot of access for the hole deployment. And I believe the custom Gavcos have holes. So, um, some of them have holes. I think some of them have thumb studs. I think it just depends. But a lot of people put holes in them. And I've even noticed some people modify the blade shape. I've, I've seen a lot of different uh, modifications to these. But very beautiful, good quality knife. It really, you know, some knives have a premium price tag, but they don't necessarily feel premium. These have a very premium feel to it, which I really like. But let's check out the next one really quick. So we have the Gavco Nurse. And we have it in two different options here. Now, there are more options than just these two, but these are the two I have in. And again, they both feel identical. Um, they're both very, very well done, very, very smooth. The detents are well tuned. Um, we have S35VN again, titanium frame lock, steel lock bar insert over travel stop so you're not going to unspring the lock, ceramic caged bearings with a ceramic detent, and it's very, very smooth. The action on the flipper tab, the flipper tab almost looks uncomfortable, but it's actually comfortable. You can push button it or light switch it, both work equally as good. Access to the lock bar, you have a big cutout on both sides, so it doesn't give you a cutout on this side, but it gives you a huge cutout on the inside. It's very easy to disengage, and the detent is nice and early, so you're not gonna have to fumble with the detent when you unlock it. No backspacer, but it does have a, a standoff. This one has the stone washed. Oh, actually, this one's all stone washed again. It's blacked out, but it's all stone washed. This one just has the stone washed, etched and stone washed blade. And again, titanium clip. It is the same clip. Um, I think well, it's pretty much the same clip. They're not. They're not the same clip. Actually, this one's thicker, a little bit thicker and more robust. This one's a little thinner, but they. I think they function the same. I, um, this is the one I used actually for a minute. Um, they're very similar. So I guess I can't speak to the, get to the thresher clips yet, but the drop logo. So you see how we have the drop logo that eventually will go away. Um, sorry about that. That eventually will go away and there will be no logos from the company aside from Gavco's or, you know, whatever company, you know, is the OEM or is the design is from, sorry, um, not OEM, but whoever's designing the knife the, the will have their logo, but the, the Caviso or Drop, you know, which is Caviso now, won't have their logo on there. So that'll be awesome. You know, we like some of that, uh, simple looking you know we don't most people don't like billboards everywhere on their knives especially when you get into the premium knives now this little guy you know the reverse flick is really good you have good access to the hole i like how the hole you know kind of lines up with this little the the hole here you know it lines up with it that's kind of cool the gavco nurse you know obviously another shark the thumb flick, you can do it, but it's not the easiest, but I can obviously, well, it's slippery. <laughs> I can do it. You know, the hole just doesn't give you the best access, but you can do it. 
Um, the reverse flick is the way to go, though. That's very easy to do. Now, even left-handed, you can do it. So, regardless if you're righty or lefty, you can do it. Now, you're going to have to put your hand over the clip on the left-hand side. And it is not a reversible clip. I'm not left-handed, but I can easily do it. Now, S35. Again, great great quality steel. Now, me personally, I prefer it with a medium grit edge. I think it does the best with a medium grit Um at a high polish, you can do it, and it will take it just fine, and it'll look beautiful, but it will it can lose its bite and tend to get a little slicker, especially after you start using it. So, you know, me personally, I like to keep it around 600 grit. Now, you can go higher than that, but that's just my preference of what I like. But I notice after I get over about 1,500 grit, it can tend to start falling off with, with the level of bite. Now, there are ways to increase the level of bite by laying back the angle more and things like that. And now we're getting into all sharpening talk. So, But either way, S35 is a good steal. And these, again, they feel identical. The, the quality is there. You know, it really has a nice premium feel to it. I've always wanted to try the custom version of the Gavco Nurse, but I know they are difficult to get. So this gives you the, the opportunity to, to get the design, you know, without shelling out the, the big bones, you know, the big bucks. Because this is still, you know, a premium price tag, but when you take off the the percentage that, you know, the sale is, you know, you're going to get it for a, a very good deal. Not a large knife, not a lot of weight relieving, and the Gavco Thresher does not have any weight relieving on the inside. I forgot to say that, but I like the weight of it. Um, this is not a big enough knife to be too heavy, in my opinion, with these materials. You know, if it was copper or something, then yeah, maybe, but... This uh, has a great weight to it, in my opinion, so I don't mind that it doesn't have the weight relieving. This one does with the holes, but it doesn't have anything else other than that. And you can see these little cutouts right there, you know, kind of like um, the gills on a shark. Wait, do sharks have gills? What am I thinking? I don't know. You know, <laughs> I'm guessing the Nurse Shark has something like that, and that's where the design influence comes from because this is designed from a Nurse Shark. But there you guys go. Don't forget to use the discount code down below if you guys are wanting to pick up one of these. I think they are really good quality. Um, this is not a full review or anything. This is only a first impressions, but very, very nice. And like I said, if uh, you... they're there possibly is more options available on the website if you go and click on it and check it out. Man, these things are very smooth. Great sound. Listen to that. Yeah. There you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.